In this video we'll briefly discuss what is azithromycin, how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, contraindications and precautions. Azithromycin is a macrolide antibacterial. It interferes with microbial protein synthesis. It is available as 250, 500 and 600 mg capsules or tablets. And also available as 200 mg per 5 ml powder for oral suspension, to be reconstituted with filtered water. Azithromycin is used in the treatment of infections of the respiratory tract, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, community acquired pneumonia, mycobacterium ovium complex, pelvic inflammatory disease, and sexually transmitted diseases caused by susceptible organisms and also used in the treatment of streptococcal tonsillitis, acute otitis media, only in penicillin allergic patients. The usual dosage for community acquired pneumonia, for adults and children 16 years and older, is 500 mg as a single dose, on the first day, followed by 250 mg once daily, from day 2 to day 5, and for children 6 months and older, 10 mg per kilogram as a single dose on the first day, not to exceed 500 mg per day, followed by 5 mg per kilogram, from day 2 to day 5, not to exceed 250 mg per day, and the usual dose for mild to moderate chronic obstructive pulmonary disease for adults and children 16 years and older, is 500 mg per day for 3 days, or 500 mg as a single dose on the first day followed by 250 mg once daily, from day 2 to day 5. The dose for acute otitis media for children 6 months and older, 30 mg per kilogram, given as a single dose, or 10 mg per kilogram once daily for 3 days, or 10 mg per kilogram as a single dose, on the first day, followed by 5 mg per kilogram from day 2 to day 5. The usual dose for pharyngitis and tonsillitis, for adults and children 16 years and older, is 500 mg as a single dose on the first day, followed by 250 mg once daily, from day 2 to day 5. And for children at least 2 years, the dose is 12 mg per kilogram per day, for 5 days. Azithromycin shouldn't be administered to patients with allergy to azithromycin or another macrolide, and to patients with severe hepatic impairment. It may cause gastrointestinal disturbances, heart rhythm disorders, QT prolongation, allergic reactions sometimes severe. In case of allergic reactions, it should be stopped immediately. Administer one hour before or two hours after a meal. Do not administer simultaneously with antacids such as aluminium or magnesium hydroxide. Administer 2 hours apart. Avoid combination with drugs that prolong the QT interval. Administer with caution and monitor use in patients taking digoxin. There is no contraindication in case of pregnancy and breastfeeding. That's all for this video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos like this one.